but I've had multiple copies of the game just where I own the game shop uh, before people would bring in a lot of Pokemon games and we'd have to get the battery switched out of them because they were dead. And then I got, uh, actually was buying stuff. I'll, I'll go to Goodwill's quite a bit and I'll find stuff that we could put in the shop. And uh, there was a, a Game Boy Color and I know I could flip that for $20, $25. They were just wanting five bucks for it. So I bought it. They threw it in the bag. I didn't even look at it. And I get back to the store to clean it up and get it ready. And I flip it around back and it's got Pokemon Blue in it. I'm like, hmm. So then it's like, do I sell this one or do I keep it? And of course, I sold it because you got to pay the bills. Yeah. But it was like, I was like, man, I should keep this because. I didn't know it was going to be in the back of this. This is like a sign, right? I've got to keep this game. But I can get 25 bucks for it. I'm going to sell it. So that I did. So did lots of people come in your shop to buy the older games? Uh, I had people are in this collecting phase right now. Like they watch a lot of like the uh, YouTube stuff, like, uh, Angry Video Game Nerd and uh, Path the NES Punk, uh, the Game Chasers. So everybody's into the was into the like the collecting phase. So they would come in and buy or trade in games and stuff to buy like the older stuff because they were collecting. And then you know a month or two later they'd sell it back to me because it was too expensive. Oh yeah. And I'm kind of I have decided that I am cutting my collecting way down. Like I'm just specifically going for like what I like, which is a few um, actual Nintendo franchises, uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games. And I will probably collect all the Pokemon games because I like those. And those are something that I would like to have in box and manual and stuff. But these other games, I'm not spending two, $300 on a game that, majority of them suck they're just on shack fu yeah well shack fu will never be worth that much i think i paid like two dollars for my copy i bought i feel Heck, bad I, pay, I paid six for my copy of super mario kart i actually paid twenty dollars for shack fu <laughs> but this was when i was a kid so i mean it was a newer game but it already devalued that much that's and funny I, I had like $25 and I was looking at games that I could buy and I'm like, hmm, Shaq Fu. I am so sorry. <laughs> it, came, it came with that rap CD and everything. Oh so, gosh, it came with the CD? Yeah. Mine, I just got the copy of the game with it. Yeah, mine, it was the Sega Genesis version, it came with the rap CD. and That's awesome. Do you still have the CD? No, I don't have any of that stuff anymore. Uh... Like I said, I sold... I had to sell it all to pay off a huge like medical debt that just about bankrupted me, but I sold everything, my comics, my games. I would have sold Melinda, but apparently that's illegal. But uh, <laughs> you You're know, not right. We we sold everything to pay those bills off and it was a rough rough time. But uh Somebody got a deal on that Shaq Fu, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Shaq Fu. Uh, I played through it. You know, when you're a kid, though, and playing those games, you don't know they're bad. You don't know they're bad. Like, you just, shit, I'm going to play through this. Like, yeah, that's what I did with, like, the Scooby-Doo and the, the Home Alone games and all that stuff that I'd play through. Like, we'd rent them at Blockbuster, and I'd play through them. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a ton of NES games that are horrible. We still played through them, and we had a good time with them, I think. That's Let's see. One Jaws, one of those ones that was really, really bad? Yep. Yeah, most of the LJN games are bad, and that's kind of one of the things that annoys me now is, like, everybody knows that they're bad, but they've never played them. So you'll have, like, some kid in at school that'll be like, oh, I know all about LJN games. I watched Angry Video Game. And I'm like, have you played one of them? No, because they suck. Like, you do know he's the actor, and he's making them look as bad as possible. They're not great games, but you can have fun with them. 